and this is not for the faint of the heart it's not for the week hi guys i'm rachel if you're new or returning welcome or welcome back i do fragrance beauty and lifestyle i hope you stay to the end please subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload a video everything i speak about will be listed in the description box so check it out along with all my other social media platforms i'd like to have you over there as well Today I am reviewing one of the biggest and most exciting perfume release in the fragrance industry of 2023, K. Ollie's Oud Gazum Collection. Yay! Look at them, look at them, look at them! Yay! These were gifted by the brand, so thank you so much K. Ollie, for sending these over. According to Mona, these has been five years in the making and you can tell they are so well done. So the collection comes with four fragrances that are surrounded by the common notes of oud at different intensities. Vanilla oud, cafe oud, rose oud, and tobacco oud. Mona also introduced us to something called bahu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's a fragrance scented wood chip that you burn in this burner and use to scent your home, your hair, your clothes. And I've been using it and I love it so far. My house smells like an Arabian palace and I smell like an Arabian princess. Oud is a very common note used in the Middle East and it's also a very expensive note. It's also very versatile and can smell anyway from woody to slightly animalic. It also takes years before you can actually get this oud that is formed by a fungus in the trees. So anyway, let's hop into the review of this oud gasm collection. First we have vanilla oud and this would have the least concentration of oud of the entire collection. It has notes of vanilla sugar, praline, saffron, white musk, oak musk and, and of course the oud. If you're someone who is newer to ouds or are afraid of trying ouds, this is a perfect place to start. This I consider to be a beginner friendly oud. It's very soft and the lightest of the entire collection. The vanilla oud is very soft, very sugary sweet from the praline and the sugar vanilla and the top and the dry down is kind of powdery, it's creamy and musky. The oud here is more like a supporting note, like I said it's very soft, not loud and in your face and very beginner friendly. Next we have cafe oud with notes of cappuccino, geranium, rose, white musk, vanilla and oud. If you're someone who's iffy about coffee give this one a try the coffee in here it's warm and smooth more like an edible coffee it is not harsh at all it's not in your face it's not ooh, coffee it's just very well done i also get some of the rose in here so it's more like a floral cappuccino oud scent to me it's also the most feminine of the entire collection and this one is my favorite now we have a rose oud 16 i've been forgetting to mention these numbers so this has notes of lemon geranium bulgarian rose madagascan vanilla cashmere wood and oud this is a sweet fresh rose it gets this freshness from the lemon in the top and the dry down is where the magic is it's not your typical rose and oud dry down it's slightly animalic and of course it maintains this freshness from the rose it maintains this sweetness and the oud in this is so smooth it reminds me of Oud Satin Mood by MFK. It's just a very smooth Oud. It's so well done. Also in the dry down, it comes off a little bit clean and soapy to me, but in a very good, rich, sophisticated, elegant kind of way. So this is Rose Oud 16 by Kayali. We have the last one from the collection, Tobacco Oud 4. It has notes of mandarin, white honey, geranium, vanilla, tobacco, and of course oud. this one is unisex linen masculine i find rose oud to also be unisex but linen more feminine this is the one with the strongest concentration of oud and this is not for the faint of the heart it's not for the weak it's a deep dark rich oud and the tobacco is a little bit sweet from the honey and i find the oud to be more animalic and more dirty in the dry down in this one also in the collection we have the wood chip that is scented in cafe oud and this is my favorite scent from the collection and the burn that you put them in i've been using this non-stop till i got it i just really really love it and i hope it never runs out i love them all i'm a girl who loves oud i love my fragrance i always say with depth and character so oud is right up my eye and like i said the collection is very well done but if i was to read them i would choose tobacco oud would be at the bottom then vanilla oud rose oud and then cafe oud. now let's talk layering kaoli is a house that's known for layering the fragrances within the line and vanilla oud will layer well with any of the other three tobacco oud cafe oud or rose oud those are also recommended by mona then cafe oud and rose oud would layer very well and rose oud and tobacco oud will also layer very well 
and if you got perfumes in your collection that are probably fruity floral or something that's missing something child use those oud perfumes to layer with to give them a little something a little umph and go about your day smelling amazing that's the end of my review let me know which one you're interested and most excited in trying tell me if you would actually check it out by the time you've seen this video i would have been invited by kiali to celebrate an intimate dinner um, around the Oudgasm launch. I will put some clips in so that you can see. But thank you so much, Kayali and Mona, for sending this over. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and ring the bell. I upload every Sunday. Everything is in the description box along with all my social media platforms. I would love to have you over there. I hope this review will be helpful in helping you to choose one of your scents. Let me know which one you're interested in, like I said. And until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.